Drop the bomb. Yes, that's looking good. Looking good. Before I activate this weird device right here, make sure to click the like button and also subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, let's activate. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, wait. No, no, no. The facility is being destroyed by it as well. Okay, you know what? Let's just turn that off. It's taken the chair and table. But I got to say, it works really well. Now, my plan for this video is to actually blow up this SCP facility right here. But before we do that, I want to conduct some research and do some experiments. Oh, no, doctor, why are you falling over? Stay there. So if we activate this button here, I think we can electrocute. Oh, no, he's escaping. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Okay, keep electrocuting. Um, who installed glass there? Okay, dude, look away. Look away. Don't look at him. But seriously, who installed glass for SCP-096? Don't worry, doctor. I think you got away with it this time. What does this button do here? Uh, activates whatever that is. We also have SCP-173 here, but we're just going to leave him be. Oh, look, 049 is here too. Speaking to the doctor, you know, they often do get along with SCP-049. And then up here, we don't actually have an SCP creature. We have the gorse. This never gets old. I've already gone ahead and extracted some blood here. And I think most of you probably know where this is going. So let's just go ahead and uh, grab the gorse blood, extract it into the blood tank. And then from there, well, we're going to put it into this guy right here, this class D personnel. And here we go. All right, this never gets old. So we are now putting the gorse blood inside him. And there we go. <laughs> I love doing this. It's so messed up, but it just works so well. So now we have a lovely skeleton. Oh, man. Look at all those bones. Good job, gorse. But unfortunately, we don't need you anymore. So, um... I'm guessing... Oh, jeez, there we go. Yeah, we can just go ahead and electrocute him now because he is very dangerous and we might as well just kill him. But like most facilities, they are pretty messed up. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and destroy it and hopefully take down all the creatures inside. So I've got here an F-35 fighter jet, but it is not ready to be taken off yet because... We actually need to go ahead and add some bombs. So, probably not an atom bomb. <laughs> That's a bit too crazy. That's literally nuking the facility, which I guess we could try later on. But let's go for a general purpose bomb to begin with. I really don't know if this is going to work or not. And it's also going to be very difficult to drop the bomb, I guess, accurately on the uh, the base. Tango, Zulo, Bravo, Charlie, 1-4, preparing for takeoff. Right, I haven't really flown this thing much, but I think we press M to hover. Yep, there we go. It's extremely loud. Now, because I have that bomb on, it also means that this thing is going to be a little bit more heavy. In fact, I am struggling to take off a little bit here. Maybe start the engine. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're flying up now. Right, this is good. Okay, take it nice and slow. This is going to be very difficult to find the base. Sometimes if you go too fast in this jet, it does start to freak out. So what I've gone ahead and done is actually applied the air brake and turned off the engine. I think we're getting pretty close now. Let me go ahead and zoom out. Oh, we're going too fast again. Oh, that's the base. That's the base. Okay, this is going to be very, very difficult to be accurate with this bomb drop. Here we go. How am I going to do this? I don't know how fast I'm going right now. Okay, and drop the bomb. Release it. Wait, no. Wrong button. Okay, there we go. I got it. I got it. Down it goes. Yes. Whoa. Direct hit. Although uh, we didn't do a crazy amount of damage. Right. Time to crank it up a notch. We have now got this energy vessel explosive. I think that's what it's called. And we're going to see if we can do extra damage to it. Oh, no. We're too heavy. We're too heavy. No, go up. Go up. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. It's okay. Whoa. Okay, I applied the, uh, the afterburn. Oh, release it. Release it. Oh. Well... I think it's fair to say I messed that one up big time. We completely missed. Okay, this is the one. This is it. Drop the bomb. Yes, that's looking good. Looking good. Oh, yes. There we go. We did it. Oh, <laughs> this is a very, very powerful explosive. I think it just absorbs everything in, sucks it all in, right? Or maybe not. It looks like it's actually just sending out lightning bolts. Whoa, and there we go. There's the big explosion. Everyone is getting electrocuted, and also the building itself has been destroyed. Oh, man. Look at the mess. And look at the lights as well. Where the lights have, like, blown up by the looks of it, you can see the color of them, which is really interesting. And we have no survivors other than SCP-096 by the looks of it. He seems fine. He's always fine, though. Like, nothing kills him. Not even an atom bomb. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> 
Imagine if it actually did kill him. I need to uh, check this out. I don't see him anymore. Oh, is that him? <laughs> he just came back. It is. Even though he's a skeleton, he's still alive. Look at that. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, there's another body part right there. So I often read the comments on my channel and it seems like a lot of you want me to play this lava map. I'm pretty sure I haven't actually played it on the channel yet. And uh, this will be my first time fully checking it out. But before we do that, I want to show you some more stuff you can do with the F-35 here. So it actually does have a minigun. So if we press V, it should just light up this building here. Yeah, look at that. How awesome is that? We can also uh, do this and use the afterburners, go really fast and just crash right into it. And we just go flying. Wait, look at this guy. <laughs> he survived that. How do you survive something like that, dude? You know what? You, my friend, are going into the lava. You were very lucky and now unlucky. Look at that. Burn instantly. So I think they just turn into skeletons again. Yep, charred skeletons. Look at that. Now, the other cool thing about this F-35 right here is it also can eject you if you want. So if I press C, here we go. You ready? And eject. Yes. <laughs> How cool is that? The only downside to this, though, is we have just ejected over lava. And I also think there's blood coming out of him. Uh-oh. I'm just going to slowly fall down to my death. Oh, look, there's my jet. Okay, that's been destroyed. And in I go as well. Burning. <laughs> How unfortunate would that be? So I did this on the acid map as well, but I've lined up a bunch of different people and creatures and I want to see what effect the lava has on them. So SCP-173, you're up first, down you go. Uh, he gets burnt, but because he's heavy and, you know, made out of concrete material, he will just sink to the bottom, never to be seen again. What about you, Dr. Bob? Down you go. He's just going to turn into a skeleton, I take it. And... The Bob segment of his head will stay the same. 049, you are up. I have no idea what's going to happen with this guy right here. This is an interesting one. Well, he's on fire and he's freaking out, but I think he won't die from it. So he's just going to be struggling for a long time. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and put him over there for later. D-Class, down you go. Same again, pretty much. We don't even need to see what happens there. Creepy man guy, here we go. Already really, really thin. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on over here? Why is there so much fire? Why is it going up in the sky as well? What? Is it 049 causing all of this? 049, what are you doing? Calm down. Mario! Woo! He might actually survive, you know. He can regenerate with this mod. Oh, no, wait, he's dead. His body regenerates, but he's still just dead. Cartoon dog. Now, this is an interesting one. Let's dip him in. Oh, well, that's terrifying. Can you hear that? <laughs> He's making weird noises, but nothing happens. I was not expecting that. He doesn't even sound fire. It has no effect on him whatsoever. But look at this guy. Super creepy man has turned even more creepy. Yeah, I am shocked about cartoon dog though. Was not expecting that. The diver. Now this diver can actually survive in the acid sea, but I have a very strong feeling he can't in the lava sea. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh, hang on a minute. I think Cartoon Dog just bit his head off. Come on, man. Biting the scuba diver's head off like that. Oh. And now he's, he's eating him some more. Okay. <laughs> Cartoon Dog, shut up. There we go. And lastly, we have this light bulb android. Let's find out what happens. Down he goes. Oh, the bulb went out. Whoa. What is that noise? That's really creepy. Whoa, what are those flashes? Ah, what is happening? That's super weird. All right, 049 just constantly keeps getting burned over and over, but will not die. Quick, grab the extinguisher. Put him out. Oh, wait, that's the wrong way. This way, there we go. Yeah, 049, I think, along with Cartoon Dog, they are the only survivors. But can he survive against the minigun? Fire! Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's better. But don't worry, I'll hold him in place. There you go. Oh, oh, maybe not. You know what? Just because it's fun, I'm going to eject again. Go! I took a bit of the plane with me, though. Why am I on fire? Oh, no. Malfunction. Malfunction. <laughs> the ejector seat didn't work how it was supposed to. 
And now I'm burnt to a crisp. I started burning even before I got into the lava there. So I actually did this on a previous video of mine on the acid map where I made like a trap door. Also, there's new hatches, so you don't actually have to use actual doors and flip them around. But uh, yeah, let's just see what happens here on the lava map, shall we? Goodbye! Down he goes. <laughs> Ah, uh, that just never gets old. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There is another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!